morning just talking over all of the music that's happening i'm just in bracobal plaza getting a coffee and then on the way up to this is knit um i am on my way up to dublin to teach my class my weaving class um i heard that uh, a lot of their rigid head looms are sold out the ones that they pre-ordered so they're ordering more it's so exciting it's wonderful to get such interest in it so i have got my loom i've got all my samples i've got all of the yarn for practicing warp uh, weaving um i think i've got everything i need the rest of the looms are up there i just have to collect one on the way up um so yeah uh, i just stopped to get another coffee and a sub a sandwich because i didn't have breakfast so i'm having this sausage sausage sambo it's vegan of course so it's super subs in Barack obama plaza gotta love Barack obama plaza it's award-winning you know Hello. She's here. <laughs> here. Are Hello. we ready to weave? I'm so ready. I've never been more ready. <laughs> in my life. And there's even coffee. Oh my god. Let's go get it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a couple of looms here at different stages to show people the different stages of weaving. Since we've only got the three hours, it's um, I've already got my colleagues in the um, in the guild have actually warped up these looms. Thank you so much, ladies, and uh, we're almost ready to go with them. I have my little notes with a little kitten on the front. I mean, for luck. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. I've got sweets, I've got coffee, <laughs> we've got extra fun yarn. Um, yes, and we're just about to wind up this, <coughs> this yarn that Jenny has dyed from Townhouse. So this is the yarn that's going to be going onto this loom just here. This is the, this is Nick loom. And uh, we're going to be warping it up for a charity scarf. So if you are around, we are going to have the whole the whole uh, scarf worked up and you can come in over the next couple of weeks over Christmas and have a little go yourself. Um, they just ask that you make a little donation towards homeless charities in, uh, in Ireland and uh, it could be raffled off over the Christmas period. And yeah, so you might win it. So I can't wait to see how this works out. This is gonna be so pretty. And that needs to be strong and the thickness of your warp depends on the size of heddle that you have so like i said the heddle here is a <coughs> 7.5 7. which is good and then you can come under there and make sure that's yeah. in there yeah. Yeah. but it doesn't a nice sharp scissors will do um this is probably going to come off take it off so it's not annoying you <laughs> so you have your heddle and we have done our hem stitching congratulations everybody on finishing the hem stitching uh, or getting the hem stitching tried <laughs> so I like to leave a long bit here I like to leave as much as possible now I could cut straight across there 
but I like to give myself a little bit of leeway. So I'm just going to cut across back here. And I'm gonna crush uh, just one half. So if you see they're coming over, so half the, half the yarn is coming over the apron rod and half the yarn is coming under. So I'm just gonna cut along the apron rod. Oh, well that gives you a straight line. Yeah, there you go. It kind of gives you a guide as well. Now I ran out of balls, there's a couple of balls on here and I was adjusting here. So, it's This is my absolute favorite bit, it's like... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now we get to pull it. So to pull it off you just undo the lock. I love it, it's like hair. This is the 100% silk. Pass it on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh you've got stitches in it. Yeah, I've got some different types of fibers. Just eat this is all the takeaways I've had. This is Lino lace there. That's some lace. These are some bits of um, roving that I've gone in there. Oh my god, it's so long. It's fabulous. There we go. That is... You can definitely fit that on a on one of those looms. It won't be as wide, but it is pretty. So this is on the 16 inch red head of loom, and I wish I did it all in that Lino lace. It came out so oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Uh, How did you do that? Very easily, actually. Yeah. <sighs> Satisfying. Oh, nice. so nice. so nice. And that one even works. Even though it's a setting up process, it's quite relaxing. It is, yeah, it, it is. I find it quite relaxing. I get excited when I get to do it. Yes. We're all about repetition, aren't we? Knitters, crocheters, weavers, spinners. It's all the same thing over and over again. It's so relaxing. So Lisa and myself um, had an idea uh, how you could also try weaving if you are around in the Dublin area and you're able to pop into the shop in, in the Power Square townhouse. And um, here's uh, Lisa and myself to tell you more about the project. Right. Hello everybody, uh, I'm Lisa and I'm here with Grace in This Is Knit, um, shortly after a very successful weaving class. Yeah, we say. had a great time actually. So yeah. made lots of new weavers, or mm -hmm. Grace has, I mm -hmm. stood by and watched and I'm probably going to join their ranks really. Yes, so I think you will. But yes, we're hoping well, to have a class. We have an opportunity well. for you to uh, just try your hand at a bit of weaving and all for a very good cause mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, so you can come in and we have this. I will be the lovely lady. I'll be your lovely kind of assistant. Don't want to touch. <laughs> <laughs> you set it so, up. You did very okay, well. I did. So, this is a um, a loom that we set up during the class. It was a demonstration piece, and everyone did really well. And it's a beautifully set up loom. Congratulations! But um, this yarn is actually dyed um, especially for this um, this project by uh, Jenny from the Townhouse, Townhouse Yarns. So it's this beautiful yarn which hasn't been named as yet. No, we'll yes. have to run that as we'll part of the whole to, ooh, a little, endeavor. If you have any a little ooh, side suggestions. Uh -huh. So we worked it using the colourful yarn and then we're weaving it using the maroon yarn but there's also an option for this to go in as well and anyway. We're gonna play around. Yes. We'll set up a few different Shuttles? Yes. Shuttles. Correct. I'm learning the oh, words. This Frank. is a shuttle. Excellent. Yes. This is a rigid head loom. This is the head of. Yeah, She's such a good teacher. <laughs> um, so why are we why are we babbling on bubbles? <laughs> We're babbling on because uh, we want to raise some funds. We want to this time of year. It's a great time to get our community together to to work um, towards uh, helping some good causes. Mm -hmm. And the good causes are uh, Cooking for Freedom, who we supported this year at uh, Woolen as well, mm -hmm. and Grace's Charity of and Choice. Doris, Doris, and Doris. Um, I have a, a local um, Doris Limney in in. Limerick, Limney, but uh, I think Durs is actually a, an Irish whole island oh, situation. So, yes. uh, in support of those two charities, what we're doing is we're going to ask everybody to come in and take part in weaving uh, our, our best wishes and our hopes and dreams for 2020 into this scarf. Um, and we were going to set up a GoFundMe page so that uh, everybody could 
donate towards this mm -hmm. cause, these two mm -hmm. causes. Um, and at the end, I think early 2020, so yeah. after we come back in the new year, yeah. a scarf or scarves if we get a lot yeah. of people participating. We might have two. We may. We have if, lots um, of yarn yes. to work with. Yeah. Um, and they are going to be raffled off uh, among everybody who's supported. And um, you get to get the benefits of all of the hopes and wishes and dreams, exactly. which is really nice absolutely yeah. so so do join us we really hope that you'll uh, come and take part uh, we, the, the loom will be here in this mm -hmm. knit you come and, and the this is knit girls have been taught now trained trained yes. professionally and we'll take little videos as well on the way of people yeah. uh, so there's a record of yeah. everything that's gone yeah. into it um, and between myself and Grace we'll get the scarves all finished off and yeah. ready for, for gifting uh, in January 2020 yeah. uh, so uh, we'll, we'll share a bit more information I think on both uh, Grace's uh, channels, my channels, your channels, and the Just business channels over the coming weeks yeah. or a week and a bit. Um, and we hope to see you. You can pop into this is and take part, or you can just uh, donate when we have the GoFundMe page uh, mm -hmm. set up if you'd like to mm -hmm. participate from a distance and be yes. in the draw. Be in the draw to win, win, win. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it's a great chance to actually get a go. Actually, get a, get a wee on, try it on the looms. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of people in today which were uh, like always wanted to weave yeah. so if you this is a great chance for you to come in and see what the see what the looms are like and have a little go it's great fun excellent it really is yeah <laughs> so uh, we hope to see you soon and thanks very much for listening today thanks very much bye, bye. So here's a little. So here are the details of the two charities. Um, it is a little bit. You can pause the video if you like to read, or we will put details down below in the link bar. If you're not around Dublin and you'd love to help and um, have a chance to win the final scarf that comes off the loom, um, you can donate using the GoFundMe account, which is down in the details below, and also in the links in my bio on Instagram. Also. You can also share if you can't um, donate anything at the moment. I know Christmas can be a little bit of a, a tough time on the on the cash, but you can also tell your friends and share uh, the details of this uh, project that's happening and taking place. And um, maybe you'd be able to help that way as well. Now, uh, coming up, you'll find a little tutorial which you can use if you do want to pop in and try weaving yourself. The staff might be very busy over the Christmas period, so um, feel free to watch and see uh, if uh, the video is helpful for you. Um, the main thing that you need to be concerned about is when you're coming across, um, you see the way this is a little bit loose here, mm -hmm. loosey goosey, just pull it a tiny bit. And the finger, finger is still under here. Pinch that once it's pulled, okay. and then pull that nice and tight. So it's right on the edge, but you're not pulling in. Okay. Yeah. You want it to stay aligned with this section. Keep it pinched. Pull, and then let go. That is yeah. the correct tension for this particular yarn. Um, it needs to have a lot of distance because the yarn is actually going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And you need a bit of slack for that. Also, important on a really colorful, beautiful warp like this, don't press down too hard. Because if you do, you're going to hide all of the beautiful colors. Yes. So gently press. You don't, it's, I know it's really like, you know, when you start knitting first, you knit really tight because you're really stressed about it. This is the same with weaving. You don't need to weave really tight. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Yeah, get a good from this angle. Yeah. So you come across there and you get your, you see it's a little loose. You yes. pull it and right. have your finger underneath and pinch. And, pinch. and then that's going to come nice and, it does look a little bit loosey goosey up here, but it's nice and flush to okay. this outside thread. And the rest will take care of itself. And the rest will take care of itself. And then just bring it down and you don't need to, punch, you don't need to, okay, it is called beating, but you don't need to beat it. Gotcha. <laughs> and that's how you weave. If that piqued your interest, the loom will be available in This Is Knit over the Christmas period. So do pop in and the link for the fundraiser is just below this video and we'd really appreciate your support. Ooh, it's cold! It's cold out there. I went in to get a cup of coffee and they had one of, this is like their little vegan cake. It's a vegan something. I don't even care. I'm going to eat it. I'm insomnia. I stopped off at Junction 14 on the way home. Right, so the class, the class went really, really well. Um, it was really good, actually. I split up the class, so I had a cup. I had everybody kind of weaving um, 
first. So I had all the looms warped and I got people weaving to start. And then once people had got the weaving down a little bit, um, then I warped up a loom. I did a demonstration of warping one loom and um, yeah, I know it worked quite well. Uh, and I, everyone got a go on the, you know, the making the warp, bringing it out, threading it, pulling it back, all that jazz. So um, yeah, I think it was good. Mm. Oh, it's like a brownie cake. I didn't pick this cup. I left it in the car and then I was too cold to go back out and get it. So I had to... It's a shame. Um, but I need the heat and the coffee because I'm tired now. So, um, yeah, it was great. Um, I'm holding... There, we're definitely holding another class in March. And at the moment, there is... Uh, we warped up a... Uh, we warped up a... The loom that we warped inside, it was warped using a special colorway from Jenny from Tana's Herons. So it was going to, it is going to, um, uh, yeah. So <clears throat> the idea of this scarf that's currently being woven in this is knit is people can come in uh, into the Paris Court townhouse in Dublin and give it a go and have a little go of the weaving loom and add a few little rows and then we ask you to donate a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, money towards a uh, homeless charities um, that we are we've got two homeless charities one is uh, cooking cooking for freedom and the second one is Doris so uh, or Doris Limney um, which is I think the Limerick base but I think Doris is all over Ireland but my friend works inside in Doris Limney and she helps the um, refugees who are transitioning out of uh, direct provision into kind of life <laughs> here in Ireland and cultural kind of uh, dealing with cultural and kind of taxes, paying bills, things like that. Um, when you are in direct provision for so long and you don't understand the system, there's no education provided for you. So this uh, Duris is a charity which helps with that transition. Uh, yeah, so if you'd like to um, donate uh, and be in with a chance to win the scarf that is being woven, um, a, you there is going to be a GoFundMe page I think and I'll get some details on that we haven't set it up just yet because we just set up the loom <laughs> so uh, we will probably set that up tomorrow and I'll put that oh, Monday and I'll put the details um, down below here if you see this after Sunday the 15th of December so which you probably will because your girl has a, a few things to upload and film so the vlogmases are going to be a teens a bit late but that's okay so once i've had my coffee um i'll start on again i've got another hour and a half to drive but um yeah i just want to say thank you so much to myra and alva for uh, helping me warp up the looms and uh, that was that was really really handy i was able to set up really fast then in that case Thank you so much to Lisa and everyone at work uh, today, uh, Jenny and um, uh, Joe, Joy, sorry, Joy. And oh, there was another girl, but I didn't catch her name, but she went out and got me the most absolutely delicious dinner from this place called Cornucopia. And it was, oh my gosh, they had this kind of cauliflower, potato-y tofu thing. And oh my God, it was so good. So yeah, uh, I dropped off the looms out to Myra's and she's got a, um, a class coming up in the Constant Knitter on the 2nd of February. And that's going to be an advanced witch rigid heddle weaving class. So if you are a rigid heddle weaver and you would like to try a few more techniques, um, she's going to uh, advance on the progress so there's lots of different types of things that you can do I brought on loads of samples today and I only got through I didn't get through all of the different types of weaving that I've done and it's actually 
when you think about it, it's actually a load. So um, yeah, it was such, I had such a great class. I had such a great bunch of women um, who came along and who really got into it and found it really enjoyable. And I'm delighted. So happy out, successful, hooray. Uh, that's a nice cup of coffee. Insomnia. A story in every cup. It's so dark. What time is it? It is almost uh, eight o'clock. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to get back until like mm, half nine, I'd say. But uh, that's okay. I'll just go slowly. That'll be fine. So, yeah, I might actually download some of the book recommendations that you give me um, because I'm listening to this one book and I'm kind of a bit bored of it, um, but I haven't had time to look for another book. Where are you going? That is the wrong direction. Ugh, you are not a bright person. Oh, oh my God, please don't. Oh no, he's gonna try and get back into my one. All the way down on the motorway, or do I listen to an audiobook? Singing might keep me more awake. I fall asleep to audiobooks. I need to not fall asleep. Oh, this place is a tip. Okay. If I don't see you, I have got home and been really tired and went to bed. 